The following video is a recap of Mudkip Community Day Classic. And welcome to Lewis's Adventures Plays Pokemon Go with me, Lewis Marinucci, as your host. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell for alerts of when I upload new content to the channel, especially those with disabilities similar to mine. In this video, I cover Mudkip Community Day Classic, which of course the original was held in July of 2019, almost three years ago, and hopefully I'll be able to catch as many shinies as I can while also completing the special research story and its tasks during this community day. Niantic brings back Mudkip, which of course its original community day was July 2019, which of course, unlike that community day, there was no special research story or tasks associated with it. But I'm here to talk about Mudkip Community Day's special research tasks and its story associated with it. For step one, you had to power up a Pokemon 10 times with your reward of 15 Pokeballs, catch 15 Mudkip with your reward of a Mudkip encounter, and make 5 nice throws with your reward of 20 Mudkip candies. The total rewards for this step were 2,000 Stardust, a Mudkip Encounter, and one Insects. For step 2, you had to catch 15 Mudkip and your reward was 30 Mudkip Candies, transfer 10 Pokemon with your reward of a Marsh Stomp Encounter, and evolve 3 Mudkip with your reward of 10 pineapple berries and the total rewards for this step were 1500 XP, a mudkip encounter and one incense. For step 3 you had to make 3 great curveball throws with your reward of 50 mudkip candies, evolve a marsh stomp with your reward of 1 lucky egg and transfer 10 pokemon with your reward of 15 Great Balls. Your total rewards were 2,100 XP, 1 Rocket Radar, and 15 Ultra Balls. And for Step 4, you automatically claim the following rewards. 2 Silver Pineapple Berries, Mudkip Encounter, and 3,500 XP, with the total rewards for this being 3,000 Stardust, a Swampert Encounter, and two Rare Candies. And of course, if you bought the ticket to access these steps, they were about $1 or equal equivalent, depending on which part of the world you are in. And of course, if you had completed the photo bombing encounters, 
mud kit would definitely show up. You can only do it up to five times. And of course, during the making of this video, I was able to get two shinies, and one of them was through a photo encounter, coincidentally. And of course, I'll tell you how I did at the end of this video. I will leave you to the rest of this track by Kevin MacLeod, as I always do when I'm doing th these kind of videos. Enjoy everyone. Well, this Community Day Classic, like Bulbasaur Community Day, was sort of a letdown for me. My final shiny cap was only 9, and today just wasn't a very good day for me. But, I'm so happy with, with, my, with my 9 shiny haul. The total I have are 9 shiny mud kit. Hopefully the next Community Day will be much better for me. In the meantime, this is Lewis saying, thanks for watching, everyone. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Twitch, and TikTok. Remember, it's time for adventure.